nigga, please, nigga, please. This scratching is mad sloppy. <laughs> If you do well, you can go a long way. But if you fail or try to quit, you can go a long way. <laughs> Jazzy J, Red Alert, Grand Wizard Dead or DST. All of them had their different characteristics that just blew up the turntable. The DJ was the, the source of the energy because it was his responsibility to find the, the music, uh, the selection of music, the what type of rhythms that the people would feel in the audience. And there actually were no MCs, it was just the DJ. felt so attached to this because this was this wasn't just something that we did for the money. I mean, we believed in this. I mean, when I left, I could play for six, seven hours outside. And when I came home, I set my turntables up and I played for another six, seven hours. You know what I'm saying? It was something I had to do. It's history and a lot of people don't really uh, understand what actually happened then. Because there's the pre-rap record hip hop before people were rhyming on records. When Rapper's Delight came out, it got into the era where uh, the rappers didn't need a DJ. As long as they have a drum machine on the side, you didn't need a DJ. And a lot of record companies wanted to just pay the rappers and not pay the DJs because the rapper's voice is on the record. So what do you need a DJ for? DJs are the ones that put the MCs out there, but then the MCs became the power. A lot of MCs got away from the, the cultural part and got into all about the Benjamins, and um, they left the DJ behind. It took a lot out of hip hop in my heart, you know, because I was one of the rappers who liked to rap to my DJ's feeling. You know, if he felt good, I felt good, and my music was sounding good because he was sounding good, and vice versa, but then when it was a that, it's like you're rhyming on a flat line, not a heartbeat. Kosztuje to nie sklep wolnocowy, każdy wers nowy, każdy bit i scratch Lecz, wielu jak sądzę, myślisz, że błądzę Pamiętaj, że tylko środkiem do celu są pieniądze Kasy chłopaki zgarnęli na płycie Pewnie bawią się gdzie indziej na podwórko Ich nie widzę, ale tak myślą ci Co nie widzą nas wcale My z niewiecznym arsenałem przed siebie wytrwali Wielu myśli, że raperzy w Polsce jeżdżą betami Ten biznes kojarzy ze złotem i łańcuchami Jednak większość z nas ozdabia swój świat Sam plan przeszczącymi płytami Świat komentując rymami We would never get on the mic and start saying a rhyme The only time we would pick up the microphone Is when we would say um, If he on the green truck outside please move it Or or, or, or Jerry, your mother's at the door. And it was a DJ who had to uh, give the rights of, of passage to the MC to even pick up a mic at, at his set. I was walking down the street, that's a humming to the beat, and everybody else was a doing the freak. Then they asked me about another MC. I said a wimp and a wham, I don't give a damn. Look like a jelly, but they call it a jam. You know? <laughs> the MCs were just more or less there to get in get the people involved and like we would create the crowd participations you know all the hoes say ho you know anything that had to do with the crowd was where the MC the master of the ceremony got involved the DJ was the backbone and we were the arms the legs and everything else to make him colorful and they say the big DJ race their door is running in first place from the left to the back he's out of sight from the right to the left he is the death from the front to the back he's not the right visibly he got his back so get 
person wants to get an understanding of how hip hop was back then, the best thing is to look at Wild Style because, you know, that was how it was done. Without even being noticed, except for the work that's going to come out to the public, you know, that Monday. 